Hello everybody. So I thought I'd do a quick update on the Akuma bus that I've been building. It's the half scale. Um, if you saw the last video, you'll see a, a little bit of the progression into it. Um, now I've got quite a bit further with him. And here we go. So obviously this is the this is the resin cast. It's high quality resin, uh, really good stuff. It's been painted. Still got bits of painting to finish, and he's finished the teeth. Um, these balls, obviously, they need to be painted. I'm actually going to replace these with real wooden balls, uh, jewelry space, as I believe they're called. But all in all, he's getting there now. I think he's looking really cool. Uh, well worth the effort. And honestly, I mean, he does not look out of place amongst my other collectibles. So, I still need to put a real bandage in around the knot at the top. A little bit more highlighting in the hair. Red is notoriously crappy colour to highlight. But also, I've been putting some, put some small flicks of gloss on his skin to give him a, a beaded sweat effect. It's not too bright in here, so you're not really getting the best of that. Uh, yeah, but he's getting there now. I've got the gear to finish. I've also got the back to to paint. Uh, a little, little bit of sanding, uh, a little bit of filling and sanding to do there. And then this is gonna be painted with the Akuma symbol on the back. Uh, and then he'll be finished. So, yeah, I'd say 85% finished now. Really happy with him. Um, it's the first time I used Monster Clay. It's the first time I've taken a large scale mould. Um, normally the moulds I've, I've been taking before were just small for 1.6 collectible sizes or builds. Uh, so this was yeah a little bit more tricky. But I think, um, yeah, it was a 90... 98% successful mould. There were a few parts here and there that I'd sort of dremel out. Inside the corners of the mouth were a little, I don't know, that was a little bit messy in there. I had to sort that out. But with a little bit of work, I think it came out really good. So as I say, all I've got to do now is, is paint these, finish the gi, um, paint the back of the base, and then it's finished. Um, this guy will be up for sale. Uh, it will be on my Etsy store and it will be put on eBay as well. So the, the the link to the Etsy store will be in the description underneath. So feel free to check that out. At the minute guys, I've only got artwork on there. It's a, it's a really new store, I've only just opened it. Um, and I decided I was going to be doing a few more of these. Uh, I will also be taking commissions, so hit me up, send me an email. Uh, via YouTube, via the channel, or via the Etsy store. Uh, send me your ideas and you know, I'll give you a free quote. So that's pretty much it really. Um, please subscribe and like if you like. Hopefully I can get enough support. I'm gonna do these things regardless, but if I can get a little bit of support online from the fellow YouTubers, then um, you know, maybe I could get a little bit of something coming so i can you know spend a bit more time and do these things a bit faster so that's my kuma thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed hope you've liked the look of him i'm really pleased with him it looks even he's even better in hand i'm quite surprised that i actually sculpted this thing and then painted it <laughs> so as i say hit like hit subscribe um i'll keep you up to date as soon as this guy's finished, I'll put the finished uh, the finished video online. Um, and then that's it. Time for the next one. So, peace out guys. Till next time. Ciao for now.